Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and today I thought we could do a video where we talk about some of the things that you should know if you are newly diagnosed autistic. If anyone doesn't know, I was diagnosed with autism two years ago while I was in inpatient. I don't really talk about it that much, but it does affect me. So I've got some notes on my phone that I made while I was in the bath, because you know, never stop working. So this is advice for newly diagnosed adults. I don't know anything about being diagnosed as a kid, so do that as you will. The first thing I put is don't fear the diagnosis. You've always been autistic, but it just wasn't diagnosed. Now it is you can access support and resources that weren't available to you before. Being diagnosed as autistic can be difficult to come to terms with. You may be coping with a condition that you know very little about and wondering how about getting appropriate support. Alternatively, you may have known that you were autistic for a while and find diagnosis a relief. Although looking for support and ad with adult life Many autistic people celebrate their neurodiversity and unique strengths and qualities. Autism awareness and understanding is growing, but you may still need to explain to others, including professionals, how being autistic affects you and what support you might need. The last one I've got written down is take it one day at a time. Nobody's expecting you to wake up and know exactly how autism affects you. Now, I know for me, autism affects me in my sensory areas. I have very high, a very low tolerance to different like volumes. When someone shouts, it really, really knocks me down. Same with textures. There are some textures I love, like my fluffy weighted blanket. Then there are some textures, like Velcro, that I just can't touch. So that makes me feel sensory-wise. I have a lot of sensory needs. That's why I have all like, the LED strips up. I've got a projector that goes on my ceiling. There's this galaxy thing. When I was diagnosed, I knew nothing about autism really, and I still don't know a lot. I've got a book on that, book on autism, wherever that's gone. Yeah, the autistic brain. That was a really good read. My advice, genuinely, is to just try and come to terms with it. You're diagnosed with autism. Learn what your sensory needs are. Learn what overstimulates you. Learn what burnout means. There are lots of things you can do to make your life easier. You have to learn how to self-regulate, which can be hard. Thank you for watching this video, I hope this helps somebody, and if you are new make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family. And I will see you in my next video. Peace!